Okay, good morning and welcome to Just Daf It. Daf Yomi Share. We're learning Sechaz Yivamos. Today's Daf is Daf Kuf Beis, number 102. Let's get started. Um, towards the bottom of Kuf Aleph Amud Beis, 101B, about 10 lines from the bottom. I'm a Rava, Srihi Daini, by the two dots. I'm a Rava, Srihi Daini, Lemikva Dukhto. The Dayanim, as you mentioned, it's supposed to have three Dayanim for Chalitza. That's what we're talking about over here. They have to, as a halacha by chalitza, they have to uh, reserve the place. They have to announce before, set up a place where they can do the chalitza. The chsiv also yivam to ashara al zkenim. The yivam should go up to the shara to the gate. It sounds like there was a specific place. They have to specify the place before they do the chalitza. Amar Rafabu Ravuna, Rei de Rav Yishua, Avdi Uvd Bechamisha. They did a chalitza in front of five dayonim. Come on, like where I ask, Rav Yehuda, it's like Rav Yehuda, Hader Bey. We established yesterday that Rehuda was closer, but only three. The more answer is the first day, the first Zume, Milsa. Really, technically, only three Dayanim for the Chalitza to be Kshera, but they wanted to make it known to everybody that, that, that this woman had a Chalitza done to her, so therefore they did an extra two people so that it be, should be more public knowledge. Ravashi Ekla, the Beirav Kahana. Ravashi came to the house of Kahana. Marley Saldik Marley Gaban, the Muli Bechamesha. He told them, Come, come to the join our team of Dayanim. So we have five. Amar Kahana. Have a kid in the commander of Yehuda. I'm really Tasak with Zirza the Kani. When I was standing in front of Yehuda, he said to me, Come to the place of reeds. I guess that was the place where it was available, the cheap place over there by the reeds. So they had a book of place, you know, a book of fancy hall for a chalitza. That cost a lot of money. They went to the reeds, to the marsh. They said, to come join, make five. I'm really, I'm really Hamisha. said, Why need five? I'm really, okay, the first and Milsa, like we said, technically, you don't need it. You want him a first to make it known. Rashmul, Yehuda, have a Kai commander of Yehuda. Shmuel, son of Yehuda, was standing in front of Yehuda. Amr Lai Sak tell the Zirz at the Kani. He said, Come join us. That's the Ruby Bechamesha, the Presumian Milsa. He explicitly told them he wanted to make it a, a more known thing. Amr Lai Tanina, be Israel, we based in uh, based Israel, we based in Shalgar. And Paz says, Israel, right? So you need a based in Chalitza. The based have to be Jews. And I'm a Ger. I'm a Ger. I'm a Ger. I'm a Rabbi Yehuda. He's going to Rashmuel, Rabbi Yehuda, and Fikta Mamona Apum. He was right. He could be part of the Dayanim. But I think he just meant to be part of the Far St. Milsa. So that would technically be okay with him. But the fact that he was honest, he says, someone like him, I could, if he testifies at something, I can uh, remove money from someone's possession based on his testimony. Technically, the Torah says you need to aid them. He's only one aid. He can be the most trustworthy aid in the world. Witness in the world, this doesn't work. El Maran Shar Apume, all he would have the legitimacy to do because he's a trustworthy person. If there was a star, so therefore someone tries to collect the star, he would downgrade the level of the star. If one A testifies that it's a false star, you don't possibly the star, you can collect with it, but he downgrades the level of the star. There's a lot of ramifications, we'll discuss that at a different place. I'm a Rava, and set in Seder and Zeke, and I'm a Rava, Ger, top of Kuf Bez Manal, Ger, Danas Chavera, Dvar Torah. A ger could judge his friend. Now, it's not talking about Dini Mamanas. Dini Mamanas, a ger is kosher for Dini Mamanas. Here we're talking about Dini Nafashos. A ger could judge his friend, who's a ger, another ger. Shenemar, Som Zim Alech Amelech, Hashiv Chashem Alech Abo, Mikarav Achech Hazatim Alech Amelech. It's also talking about making a melech, but also refers to making Dayanim uh, to adjudicate uh, capital cases. Alech Ahud Ma'ina and Mikarav Achech, right? Only when you're doing the ger is on top of you, on top of another Yisrael, about ger danas chaveiro ger, right? Uh, if he's to make him on top of you, a ger is a lower level than a Yisrael, but to judge his fellow ger, that he's allowed to do. imam Yisrael, if his mother's Jewish, she's a complete Yisrael, she wasn't a ger, that's dan afilo Yisrael, he can be done even a Jewish, if he wants to be Kashr Chalitza, there's a restriction over here. There's a Chumra by Chalitza. You need <coughs> to be a Dayan for Chalitza. When Dayan for Chalitza, you have to be both your parents of the Yisrael. Um, the Nikra Shmo, which obviously, I guess he's not a Ger then. The Nikra Shmo, which a Ger would be possible. The Nikra Shmo, which Israel, it says his name should be called in Yisrael. Part of calling someone's name, right? You call someone's name to the Torah based on their father also. So Yisrael to tell you the mother has to be Jewish and Shmo be Yisrael, the father also be Jewish. Any year is possible for Chalitza. Amar Rabba, Amar Rav Kahana, Amar Rav. Im Yavo Eliyahu Yom Racholtz Meminal. We talked about two different types of Chalitza in the Mishnah. There's a Chalitza with a minnow and a Chalitza with a sandal. What is a minnow? What's a sandal? I looked into this a little more today. I'm going to discuss this more in Ian with Ben Sion. Um, 
I really believe, I mean, you look in the pictures they have of what a Chalitza shoe looks like. You know, they do Chalitza nowadays. Um, it looks like a heel that women wear. Some w women wear these heels where it's like a heel and then they wrap around like a lot of uh, straps. Um, I forgot the name it's called. For These are women's heels. Uh, slapback straps, slapback heels or something like that. They tie a lot of knots around the woman's foot to keep the heel on the woman because the heel you don't really wear on the top of your foot. So <clears throat> a minnow would be like a slip-on shoe. Like women wear regular shoes when they walk. They wear slip-on shoes. They want to dress fancy. They wear heels. So a sandal would be a heel, let's say. And I really believe that the Mitzvah of Chalitza is to take off a woman's shoe from the man's foot because that's really what a, a shoe is, right? When you wear the, sim the symbolicism, is that a word? Uh, the symbolism of a of a shoe worn by a man is basically his wife, right? His wife is your shoe. A man wears his shoes like a wife. Um, so, therefore, you're taking off that shoe. You can possibly marry this woman, she's your Obama, and you're a holy set. It's representational of what you're doing. <coughs> so, ain't called to sandal. Imevel Levi Omar called to the if Eliyahu came and said we do a call to him a minnow, a minnow is less effective. We're going to see it's not as powerful because a fancy shoe is a heel. These are loafers. Women don't generally wear shoes that wear with, 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 with laces, but even if they do, it would be a minnow. Right? Sandal is only an akiv. It has a heel. Heel. That's what we're talking about. Sandal without an akiv is not effective, the mission says. Show me low. If Eliyahu were to come and say you do chalitza with a minnow, we would listen to him. Ain't called to sandal, ain't shomalo. If you say you don't do chalitza with the sandal, we don't listen to Shakar Nago on the sandal. That's the minute I guess he's a sandal. Rav Yosef Amar Rav Kahana Amar Rav Yavaliyah Yomar ain't called to the minnow shomalo. If you say you don't do chalitza with the minnow, we will leave him. Ain't called to the sandal, ain't shomalo. Same idea. If you tell us you can't use a sandal, we don't listen to him. Shakar Nago on the sandal. Even Eliyahu said you can't do it. The minute is to do it. It's my benai. What's the difference in these two languages? Ikabenayu minal lechachila. Question: Can you use a minal lechachila? According to the first lashon. That Rabba says, uh, Rabba says the name of Rabba Rabba. You may have Eliyahu Yomar called to him a shomen lo. Sounds like only because Eliyahu uh, allowed it says called to him a then we would listen to him. But the Chachila, you're not supposed to use it only because Eliyahu said Chachila, Chachila, you wouldn't use it. According to the second language, according to Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yosef says um, if you tell us the name called to him a it sounds like the Chachila you can use a minnow unless Eliyahu would tell you not to use a minnow. So the Gemara says, "Lamad Amar Pila Chachila." The Gemara says you can use a minnow even Chachila, but not Chal to Minnow Chalitza like Shera. The Mishnah says you use a minnow; it's kosher. The Eved in the Chachila it sounds like only be the Eved. Clearly, you can. The Gemara says, "Who didn't Pila Chachila?" Really, you could use it even Chachila. The idea to buy the Mishnah is safe about Paliyah Chal Tisa Psula. The second part of the Mishnah want to say if you use a sock, you take off her sock, the man's sock, the woman's sock from the man's foot, right? That's possible. That feel the Eved. That maybe means the Eved. Tanami Reisha the Eved. Therefore, use the same lashon by the ratio, but technically, to also be the chachila, you use a minnow. Minnow chachila tanahi. Whereas the minnow chachila is actually a malchut tanahi. The sanya amar biyosi pamach salach to nesivin. One time I came and went to nesivin. Matati zokin echad found an elder person there. Amar lo klum ata baki berid of meseir. You know what berid of meseir? Amar li hein. I know him. Al shulchani who told her he was always by my table. Eats by me by Shabbos. Klum raisa shachal to biyavama. You see him what he did by yavama. Then he, you know, he. He presided over uh, a chalitza. Amrli Raisi shachal is hard upon the minnow or the sandal. Sometimes he was a minnow, sometimes he was a sandal. Amrli he holds him a minnow. He said to the, to, do you chalitza a minnow? Is it is it okay? Amrli Amarti lo imke mara Rabbi Meir lo mar chalitza minnow chalitza sakshera. Rabbi Meir says it's sakshera. Rabbi Yaakov Amr Mishma holds a minnow lechachila. He says the name of Rabbi Meir that you can do a chalitza with a minnow lechachila. Um, so you see that the second opinion says you can do a lechachila, uh, right? But the, the first opinion, right? Mayor says chalisa sakshera only be the evet. So it's a machlokes tanoim. My damar lechachila lo. The one that says lechachila, you're not supposed to use a minel. My time. What's the reason there it goes? Are you learning mishum da habia panta maal da rock the maal the maal? Minel has right something covering the top of the woman's foot. We're talking about a woman's shoe that. She puts on the man's foot and she takes it off, right? That's basically what we're talking about. He has to own, he has, it has to be shallow, the Mishnah says. But really, you use a woman's shoe. Um, so, if it has um, it has a covering on top of the foot, heels don't have a covering on top of the foot. Um, and let's say you have laces, right? So you'd have a, a tongue, right, covering the top of the foot, and then you have laces. 
that Torah Amr Ma'al below Ma'al Ma'al, right? When you take it up, you have to untie it. So you're taking you take it off her foot and not untie it from you're taking it off from a place on top. Let's say a straps on top of the on top of the covering the face of the of the shoe. Ihaki, I feel the Yavin Nami low. Then it should be it's a Minat Torah. It shouldn't be good. Whereas it's Zeirim Yishu Minal Marupat because it might be torn, right? If it's torn, it doesn't look like a shoe anymore. Shoes have to in order to be a Minal, it has to be. Completely covering her foot inside of its rip, then it will be possibly now mishum chazi mil, or sometimes it'll be only half a mil, like a small shoe. Um, and I think what the Gemara is saying over here is not that I've been article explains chazi mil to mean that it has to, it has to, the shoe has to be big enough for rove of her foot, but I, I rove of his foot, but I don't, I don't think it means that, um, it's too big a rove of the foot. Uh, chazi mil, I think, means over here it's a shoe, it's a loafer, it just doesn't have heels. It's just it's not completely covered on top, so that's half a minnow. I'm a rav. You love the chamita the chavivi. Your rav says I ain't seen my the dear my endeared one who's talking about Rav Chia, who was his um, who was his uncle. The chavivi the chalit the sandal is like shinsin. He did chalitza with a sandal that has shinsin. Right, these are straps. Uh, right, you can either have a buckle for your for your heels, or you can have straps. Or you could have nothing. I only would have done it in the Bedouin's one, in an Arabic sandal, an Arabic heel. Um, an Arabic heel, I guess, would have something that wouldn't have a strap. The Mahadik Tvei, that just fits on very tightly a woman's foot. But Haidi Dan, Avagad is Bey Chumrasa, even if it has, let's say, a strap on it. Katrina Bey Misna, we're supposed to tie something around to make it tighter. Kikin Hebi Chalitza, some Alyasa, the Bey Chalitza, and Alyasa. I don't know there's a hit or a mitzvah or there's the karchila, but it's supposed to be tight around the woman's foot. So therefore you tie uh, you tie a thread or a string around it to make it even stronger on her foot. Amarav Yudam Marav, I try to tell the shuk with Shmitas Rofa Egev. Once you remove uh, most of the heel, right? The heel of the foot comes out. Most of the heel of the woman is out, of the man is out of the foot. Most of the, he, she takes it off his foot, right? So most of his heel out of the foot. It's already she's muteras to shuk mesi ve hutcher rutzulas min al v'sandal. If the the lace, the straps, or the laces became untied, or shamad rova regel, or most of his foot came out, chalit says absula time the shamad who because he took it off. Hasham the if she took off the shoe, chalit says akshera rova regel in rova ekev lo. It has to come off most of the foot, not just rova the most of the heel. Or is it low? Hainu rova arega, hainu rova ekev. It's the same thing. I might call it rova rega. What I call most of the foot. It's really most of the of the heel. The kula chayla, the kara ale adaches. Right. Most of the weight of a of, of a person's foot is is based on his heel. I mean, it's better than when you're wearing heels, right? Masaya le rabiana dam rabiana ben shehitir hu v'sham tehi ben shehitir hu v'sham hu. If he unties it and she takes it off, or he or she unties it and he takes it off, because that's absolut shatter he v'tashmen he. She has to be the one to both untie or take off the buckle or take off uh, the straps around it, and she has to take it off. By Rabiana, Karasu Mahu, Sarafaso Mahu. See, she burned off the shoe. She she tied, she ripped off the shoe, right? Or burnt the shoe. Gluye Kara Bagina Ba'ika, right? Now the foot's man is exposed, so you have it. Aldilma Khalisa Bini have to actually take off the shoe. Like, no person only takes the shoe. Aleka. Take or not sure. Bami nei Rabbi Nachemi mi Rabbi. Rabbi Nachemi is the Rabbi. He asked him. Shnei menalim zaga of zeh mahu. Let's say you have two menalim. Menalim, I guess, like we said, are slip-ons or regular shoes that a woman would wear, not heels. Mahu hechidam yilema, meaning that the man is wearing, obviously, because she takes off the man's foot. Zehechidam yilema the shalaf dali live kaita tai takes off the top one and leaves the bottom one on. Mal amarachman of lo mal the mal. You have to take it directly off the foot, not off of something which is on the foot. She ripped uh, the, the top shoe, right? And she was able to take off the bottom shoe. The kai lie, and the stop one is still right on the foot, right? If you have regular shoes, slip ons, let's say, loafers, so you can rip one and then take one off, and the stop one will still be on. She need chalisa. I took it off. Or maybe, like we said before, you just have to expose the foot, and now it's exposed. Because you ripped the top one. Sorry, I'm sorry. Chalitza meina va'ika. Chalitza, there was chalitza. Even because you took off the bottom one, you did a chalitza, but you didn't expose the foot because the top one's still on. So is that good? 
Like Gemara says, over the top of Kuf Beis and Beis, Meika Ki Agav. Is it even possible to do this? Gemara says, In the you can wear two shoes. In the Chazi or Rabban and the Rav Yehuda, the Nafak Bechamsha Zuzi Mukal the Shuka. He would go with five pairs of moccasins to the shul, one on top of another. I don't know. Maybe these were just like uh, plastics to cover his foot. Amar Rav Yehuda, Amar Rav, Yivama Shegdil Ben Aachen, Yivama that grows up, um, right? She's a she. She was married to the oldest brother, let's say, and then. He had younger brothers, and she's waiting around for the brothers to do yibum. Right? She, she stays in their house. She has nowhere else to go. She could do yibum to one of them. We're not worried that maybe, in the course of growing up together, the brothers grew up with her around. She took off. She helped out. She took off one of their shoes. Time with the lochazina, and the reason is we never saw it. Hachazina chayshina. We did see it. There were a that it would be a valid chalitza. Vatanya. How could that be possible? Right? So the Benshin is common, who will learn is common, the Benshin is common, the Hebron is common, who? If they didn't have Kavana for the midst of Chalitza, he says, Absula, Ashi is common, they both have Kavana, and that's not likely that Kavana or Chalitza, Kechad, Kechad, they both have a Kavana, Hachikam, or Afgab, what we want to say is Afgab the Chazina, and even if we saw that she took off the shoe, in Chosh and Shema Kivnu, we're not worried that they had Kavana, Vikadam, we time the Chazina, and the reason is we didn't see that Chazina and Chosh. If we did see her take off a shoe, then we're chosheish with the katani boy kavana, and immediately shteru la alma. Aye, so obviously they didn't have kavana, so why would we assume it's, why are we chosheish that it's a valid chalitza? Hani immediately shteru la alma. You need kavana, all you need is that to be matir her to the shuk, avala achen mifsula. To passel her to the achen, just merely without kavana, taking it off would be enough to pass her to the achen. Am Rav Yudam Arav, sandal hatof for bepishta in cholsimbo. Sandal, again, there's a heel. Which is tougher with pishtan, right? The way you you strap it onto the foot, um, you take a piece of canvas or something like that, uh, not a piece of leather, and strap it onto the foot. In cholzin bo, shenem mar benelacha tachash. You have to use tachash as a type of hide from an animal. Ema tachash in midi achnelo. Maybe it has to be only leather. Now, now riba. It says now twice, so it includes any type of material. In now riba, filo kol mili nami, and it can use anything. Even tachash maya hanile. Tachash obviously comes to, so it excludes one thing. One thing we exclude is canvas or pishtan, is flax, which is not commonly used in heels, the strap heels on. Boy, minine, Rabbi Lazar Mirav, Lazar asked Rav, who shall or which are shall sar? Let's say the shoe is made out of leather. Um, the straps are made out of sar, hair, maho. Uh, this could be plastic also. Amale milikarina be even alecha tachash. Right? It's 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 part of tachash, right? It includes any material. Now now riba tachash is a type of material. So it just means tachash doesn't mean leather. It definitely, it just means anything which is commonly used to make shoes. Let's say you have a shoe made entirely of hair. I don't think it means hair. I think it just means like hair is made out of keratin, which is not really a living thing. It's sort of living, etc. Not your nails, your hair is made of keratin. Rhinoceros is the Horn is made of keratin. These are half uh, living things. Let's say plastic, synthetic materials. Coolers um, are not me. How how karka mikri? It's interesting. That's called a crock. Or if you if you wondered if the Torah the, the Gemara knew about crocks, yeah, karka mikri. It's a crock. It's not called a heel. I'm a layer of gehana the shmu mi the high bechalts and nalo mal raglo mishlefu. How do you know? Chalitza means to take it off his foot. You remove the rocks where the nega is talking about parsha mitzvah. Maybe it means the opposite. It means to encourage people to do something. Go mizaris, right? Get people to come fight in the war. That just means the pasuk take people, remove people from their homes to come to the to the front. Uh, means a poor person should be strengthened with his poverty. No, it means the reward that he gets for being for being poor and suffering like that releases him from the punishment of Gehenim. The Malach encircles people that fear Hashem. It sounds like it strengthened them. Then my answer is no. The, the reward they get for fearing Hashem, so we'll remove him from the judgment of Gehenim. El hadich siv at smosecha yachlitz. Your bones will be strengthened. Amar lezer zum ulish of brachos. This is the best of brachos. Amar rabba zruze garmi in mashmahach. 
Amarava is usually garmi. It means your bones will be strengthened. It means you'll live a long life. Your bones are very strong. Where I can see it's my in mashmahaki mashmahaki. Sometimes it means to strengthen. Sometimes it means to remove. The uh, hacha here, and when it comes to chalitza, if you think it means to put the shoe on, to strengthen the foot by putting the shoe on, imkin lechto brachmana bechalitza nalo biraglo. You should put the shoe on the foot. Because brachmana biraglo, I mean, so the Gemara rejects that. No, in fact, it says miraglo. So obviously, it's taking it off. And where says no. You guys don't have biraglo. I mean, a biraglo in bishoko lo. I would think only if you put it on the foot, but if you put it oh, a big like boot, a boot heel, right, that goes on the thigh also, that wouldn't be because they're on a mile raglo, that feel bishuko, right, even think a part that's above the actual foot, right, the heel, uh, the, uh, going around the thigh, um, the calf, not the thigh, the calf, is also good. Imkain lichto brachmona b'ma'al raglo. I should have said ma'al raglo. My ma'al raglo, shamina mishlafu, could have said, on the upper part of the head, on the, the foot, on the calf. Ma'al Raglo says he's taking it off Mishlafu. Amar Leia, who mean Allah of Gamliel, a certain heretic, said Gamliel, Amar the Chalas Lai Mari Mine, the Chsib, Sonam Karam Yelku, the Bavakish, as Hashem will Yim Su Chalas Mehem. Right? Hashem got removed the Jewish people from him. Right? The, the Jewish people search after Hashem, and Hashem, they can't find them. Chalas Mehem, Hashem. Got rid of them. I'm really shota. You're making a mistake. Mixiv chalatz lahem, chalatz mayhem. Not he didn't remove them from him. Chalatz mayhem. He was rejected by Klali's truck. Siv ili siv ili yivama the chalatz la akin midi mishasha isbe. If the yivama herself right took off a shoe off her foot, right, that's it's invalid, right? She has to take it off the man's foot. So the same thing over here is that Klali Yisrael rejected Hashem, and it's invalid. You can't reject Hashem. Hashem didn't reject Klai Yisrael, the Klai Yisrael rejected Hashem. And that's the conclusion of today's share. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe, of course. And uh, stay tuned for Ian Ben Sion. We'll talk more about what a minnal is and what a sandal is. You're not going to want to miss it.